All right, I've got good news. We just got one. I'm going to teach you guys what I'm looking for when I'm blood trailing. I'm going to teach you guys how to follow a blood trail. And, man, what a blessing this has been. It's been a great morning. Shot roughly 30 minutes ago. I normally give it 30 minutes before I get out of the tree. I'll take my time getting out of the tree. Make sure not to be spooking anything and make sure there isn't any other deer in the area. So let's go do this. Let's go find this deer. Okay, first and foremost, if this is your first time ever bow hunting or trying to learn how to track a deer, number one thing that you want to do right after you make your shot is be still. Try to watch the deer. Try to do the best you can in your mind to mark the exact location where that deer was standing. 99% of the time, if you'll mark that, pick out a tree, a limb, or some way to pick that out, you can see where the deer was standing because after you shoot, you should have some dig-in marks in the dirt. And that's gonna give you an indication of which way they ran. Also, you're gonna be watching the deer. That will help you. It all happens so quickly that's why I say the best thing you could do, pick out the spot where the deer was standing. Should be able to locate your arrow real close to that. So let's go find the arrow. We're going to find the location where the deer was at. And then we're going to look for any kinds of sign, whether it be blood or foot tracks. Because they should be much heavier when it's running away hard than if it was just walking through.
remember this, if it ain't cool and it don't work, you won't find it on Heartland Makes and Outdoors.